Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and today we are with the Stormy Skies pack who is currently undergoing an extremely difficult ancestor journey that I really hope won't spell the end of all hope and happiness for Rain and Zephyr but this is gonna be a toughie and you guys have been warning me Siri this is gonna be really hard you have no idea because poor poor Rain ended up getting the requirement to have an ancestor journey from her great grandmother Luna called Journey and she had to journey to the furthest den which is way over here at Aspen Heights and she has to play on the bring it on level so we're on bring it on and we are at the furthest den and this is meant to be an extremely difficult journey you guys actually picked and voted for the most difficult dream that was on the list but we're also hoping that this will also give Rain a chance to kind of restore um, strength to the pack because she really has lost a lot of strength because so many of her puppies died last time while she was attempting to complete the ancestor challenge and actually how many elk i want to try to get some elk a little bit closer to the den before we have puppies but we're going to have them any second now but yes yeah, so rain and zephyr uh, actually are a really great hunting pair. I feel like Rain may have spent the last couple of years helping to raise Misty, the only survivor from her second litter, to being a really strong, powerful wolf and really good hunter. And I think she actually would have learned a lot from Misty, her daughter. There's a lot of dead elk over here, <laughs> but I want to get some of them a little closer to our actual den. So let's loop around. And we're going to see if we can chase at least one or two elk towards our den before we start before we start moving and maybe even a couple of them towards the summer hunting ground oh boy well we can still hunt when we are when we are going okay there we go all right come along ladies no wrong wrong elk no for crying out loud turn around you elk all right zephyr hang on we've made a mess of things all right there they go man he has the most mournful howl i just love it we're gonna have to dance between the sagebrush there we go nope keep moving Keep moving, Miss Elk. No, don't go that way. There we go. Rain's giving you a good growl. Come on, keep moving. No, don't go this way either. That's right. Turn around. Nope. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on, keep turning. No! She's trying so hard to get back to her herd. Dang it, Elk. You don't understand. Nope, stop it. We need you to go the other direction. Aw, oh, this is okay this is okay we got her a little bit closer but I'm really nervous because you guys are like yeah bring it on is so hard all the puppies die even when you're on multiplayer and you have like one person guarding the puppies and one person feeding them so I am pretty nervous about this but I want to give it a good try because I think even though this is going to be a really really difficult challenge this is an opportunity for rain like I said to restore strength back to the pack after having lost so much of it why why can't you just turn where i need you to go why do you have to be so centered on trying to return to your herd when it's clear you are separated from them forever go this way at least go a different direction so i don't have a bunch of dead elk thank you all right can we reach her not quite zephyr is doing a really good job though rain is is not the fastest wolf she never has been though and she's not as strong as she used to be all right so, all right, so attempt to move elk over near the den didn't quite work out the way I was hoping it would. But at least we have a couple more dead elk. So I really don't know, you guys. We've managed to do okay on challenging before, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull off what we have done in the past with Bring It On. So I'm really quite nervous about that, especially because the food is very, very far away here. And some of you guys have been saying I should go down to the cattle ranch and I could potentially see that happening, but we might look at that option if it's just clear that we're not able to feed our puppies normally. All right, are we almost close? We're getting close. We're getting close to where our territory markers are. So I'm gonna say it's time. I think Rain's gonna be a little nervous, unsure, maybe have thought just vaguely like her cousin Moondancer that she would have really preferred to have been able to hunt more elk, but it is definitely time to go ahead and let her have her puppies. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a little exciting. All right, let's get this territory marker up here. All right, because the call of nature and the wild is still on her. So even if she is still very sad about the loss of her last litter's puppies, when it's time to have the new litter, it's time to have the new litter. You can't hold off the forces of nature for forever. 
All right, almost there. Oh, here we go. <gasps> here we go, you guys. All right, it's time. This is Rain's third and final litter. So let's look at what puppies we have now. And they're all girls. <laughs> So they're all little girls. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and say hello. Let's see. I think we've used some of the names on my little list. Well, let's go ahead and we're going to have, hmm, Tempest. I think we've used Tempest, maybe. No, I'm pretty sure we haven't. So Tempest, Autumn. And then we're going to go for, let's see, um, let's just do plain Aqua because Aqua is such a lovely name. And then we have one more. Let's go with Rainbow. And she's going to be like our little our little beacon of hope. Like Rain was trying to keep it all serious, like Tempest. And then she's like, well, Autumn's pretty. And then Aqua's in a cute little adorable name. And then Rainbow. Because she probably just, by the time Rain would finish having her puppies, I could see her feeling very hopeful. And, oh gosh, and here we are. Just, oh my goodness, look at everybody. Oh, Rainbow, you're so colorful. I could see her against her better... Her better, like, assumptions, not helping herself, and just being super happy to have her new babies. All right, but she would also be a very protective parent this time around, I think. And do a lot of howling and really make the puppies know. All right, this is, this is what we're supposed to do, you guys. All right, come here. Come here, you're supposed to be... Nope. I don't care if you guys are getting hungry. All right, hey, come on. Come on, babies. All right, come here, Autumn. Yeah, that would be Rain's personality versus Moondancer's personality. Oh my gosh, Coyote. There wasn't even a warning on this Coyote. It just shows up like this. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. <laughs> my puppies aren't safe already, and Rain is slower. She's not like the fastest wolf because you guys picked a, a wolf that had a lot of strength this time, and strength is not as good as stamina or speed for sure. Oh my goodness. Puppies, you've got to stay safe. You've got to stay safe at the den. That's just, listen, that's what you've got to do. That's your job. That's your only job as babies. That's your only job as little puppies is you have to stay safe and you have to stay at the den. Understand? Which means stay at the den. Oh, Rainbow, why are you so sweet? I think Rainbow would be just like the sweetest, the sweetest, gentlest little heart. Oh, gosh. All right, get back over here, Autumn. That's how we have we have puppies end up like eaten by coyotes. All right, we're almost there. There we go. Phew. All right, so we have taught the pups to stay. Oh, why are we already on defend your pups? Why? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be good. Are we even gonna get warnings this time? I don't think we're even gonna get warnings. Oh, I hear somebody. I don't see anybody. Those are just our puppy markers. Oh, that's fine. A bear. One, two. Tempest, why? Two, three. Okay, so we just physically wrestled Tempest out of the mouth of a bear. And now we need to go heal and get food for the puppies, like, immediately. Okay, we can't dilly-dally about this. And why must the food be so far away? Why does it have to be so far away? Thank goodness the puppies are safe inside the den until we return. But this is very frustrating to have the food so far away. But that's part of the challenge, you guys. We knew when we took this on, well, we knew when we were thrust into this dream because it's it's one of the, the challenges and it's actually one that you guys suggested too. Go for the furthest, the furthest den, Siri, and, and go and bring it on. And it is definitely a challenge. Oh, I really hope they make it. I'm already attached to Rainbow because I just feel like that was the last puppy born and at first, when she would be having her puppies, I could see Rain really trying to be kind of like objective and, and not as close to them and impartial the way that her cousin really was with her litters. Can I take out this cow elk really quickly? <sighs> like I'm trying to get her. Come on Zephyr, if we can just get this cow elk kind of towards the summer hunting grounds, even just a little bit, it would help out immensely. I don't think we'll be able to. Because rain is so slow. Slow wolves. Slow wolves with strength are so not useful. No offense, mint rain. Oh gosh, but this is actually a good thing. Because we're kind of getting the cow elk where she would need to be for moving our puppies to the summer hunting ground. So if I could just take her out. Come on, come on. All right, and then we've got to move it. Oh my gosh. 
They're hungry. Oh my gosh. All right, kill this thing. Don't even care. And walk, 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 walk. And then run, 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 run. Okay, gotta get stamina back. Gotta get stamina back. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. They get hungry so fast. They get hungry so fast and the den is so far away. Like before they even get to half hunger, you have to be moving. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm so nervous. It's like the cold sweat of fear is upon me. Are they gonna make it? Oh my gosh, why is the den have to be so far away? Why is the den have to be so far away? Why is the den have to be so far away? Why do our puppies have to be so far away? Are we almost there? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, rain. There's the puppies. Okay, hurry, feed. Hurry and feed them. Okay, oh my goodness. Feed, 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 feed. No, don't put it, don't pick up Tempest. Hurry up, feed them. All right, feed. Zephyr, help me out here. Zephyr, help me out. Oh, he's helping me out. Oh, thank goodness. All right, Autumn. Oh my gosh. That was way too tense. I, I don't know if I can do that all the time. Rainbow's being fed. Feed Aqua. Are you going to feed Aqua? No, he's not going to be able to feed Aqua. Okay. Oh, that's way too intense. Oh my gosh. Oh, goodness me. So basically, I think we need to just like turn around pretty much right this second. We need to do some territory marking before we leave, but I think we need to go get food like right now and just always have food in our stomachs. That's going to be the new rule. Feed the puppies and then turn around and have more food for them. So let's make it. All right, the puppies are safe inside the den until we return. We're back off. We're going to go get more food. We're going to turn around. I don't think this is the kind of level where we can afford to dilly-dally around the den. We're going to have to just raise the puppies up as quickly as possible and see them on their way to the summer hunting grounds and just cross all of our fingers. There's a coyote. And we actually have to take this coyote out. A lot of you guys sometimes will be like, Siri, why do you kill the coyote? And that's because the way the game is coded, these coyote will come back and they will kill our babies. So you can't leave a scavenger hunting anywhere. All right, let's go ahead and fill up. We're going to heal up. We're going to fill up. Oh, I can just feel rain starting to get hopeful. Rain, I really hope that your babies will make it. I feel like, like I was saying earlier, when she would have had... All right, we'll go ahead and howl to let them know we're coming back. There we go. I just really feel like when she would have had her first puppies, like the very first one, Tempest, she would have been like, oh, like life is life is so hard. I don't know if this little weak one will make it. And then by the second one, she would have started to be like, oh, okay, I do like my puppies. By the third one, she would have been like, oh, they, they do have their own adorable charm to them. And then by the fourth one, when Rainbow was born, I think she would have been unexpectedly very happy and she would have been just very get out of here coyote just very like oh i love i love my puppies and maybe maybe there's hope in this world after all if we can keep the coyotes from getting to them rain why can't you have a little bit more of a pessimistic personality like your cousin because it makes it very difficult when i know just what a sweet wolf she is and what a blow it would be if we lose any puppies now and we're playing on bring it on so we're gonna lose some puppies most likely oh my gosh I wonder, like, in the the manner of this challenge, and because she failed the last one, I don't think she gets an ancestor blessing. Um, any warnings? Nope. I don't think she gets an ancestor blessing until after we complete the challenge. So I'm gonna have to think about that. You guys are probably gonna be like, "No, Siri, no." All right, how about this? If she can make it, and I can't. Let's see. There we go. If she can make it over to across the river. If we can get across the river with the puppies, whatever form across the river means, then we will say that she has earned the ancestor blessing. And if she doesn't use it, just like before, oh my gosh, there's another coyote. They're just wandering the mountainside. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to take them out because they will come back and they will eat your puppies when you least expect it. How many coyotes are we gonna end up killing this time? What are we at? We're at 34, so we're gonna have to just keep going. Hopefully soon this will be enough to defend the den. But yeah, we're going to say if she gets up to, the, like across the river, she can have one ancestor blessing. And if she doesn't use it, then her puppies can use it. Oh my gosh, they're already so hungry. Aqua, why? Who? It's a bear again. It's coming around this side. All right, get him. 
two, three. All right, we chased the grizzly away. All right, we've got to feed the babies really quickly. Then we'll go get them more food. Oh, gosh. Oh, Rain, I hope she's okay. We're biting all those bear butts again. Oh, Rainbow, why are you so pretty? Oh, my goodness. No, come back here. Tempest, what are you doing? Oh, my gosh. I feel like Tempest is a little bit of a wild child. All right, let's feed the puppies. Come on, you guys. Aqua, you are the one who looks the most like your mom, too. All right, Tempest, for crying out loud, what are you doing? You're gonna get eaten by, like, all of the things. All of the things, Tempest. No, Tempest, get out of my mouth. I have to be able to see what's going on here. There is an eagle coming to eat you. There it is. All right, chase this eagle away. Oh, my goodness. All right, we chased the eagle away. Playing with the puppies. Let's go get some more food. We've got to heal up and we need to get some more food for the puppies like right away as soon as we feed them. Every time that notification that the pups are now safe inside the den pops up, my heart stops because I think it's saying like, your pup is dead. And I'm like, no, oh my goodness, no. Oh my goodness, the food's so far away. All right, Rain. So this is Rain's burden and Rain's challenge right now to be able to really pull herself up from the hardest journey that she can possibly have. Bring it on for this den. The food is a far, far, like food's located really far away. The elk herds are hard to hunt right now because she's lost a lot of her strength from the disease that she probably picked up from her three puppies from litter two dying. Ah, okay, sorry about that guys. I had a little bit of a computer glitch. Oh my goodness, are they okay? Oh, I'm not, I'm not done filling up on food for the puppies. Okay, let's go back. All right, so where were we? Oh my goodness. I think my heart just about stopped when the when that all stopped that way. Okay. Oh, all right. So, yes, we are taking on the ancestor challenge from Luna and hopefully bringing strength back into the pack. And I'm just so nervous about this because I really think that Rain is attached to these puppies, even though she didn't plan on being attached to them. And now let's run over. Let's feed them. Let's make sure that nothing. Zephyr, are you with us? Okay, good. Let's make sure that nothing is coming over to try to eat our babies. And then we're gonna do this, you guys. We are going to bring the challenge. Oh, why? Get away, get away. You're not allowed to be here. Oh my gosh, those coyotes will just show up, not even give you a warning. All right, there we go. There's one coyote down. And let's come over and feed all the babies. Hey guys. No, I don't want to pick you up, Autumn. I love you, but I don't want to pick you up. I could see Rain being like, I have to pick them all up and make sure they're okay. Oh boy. What's going on? Oh, really? Really? Okay, we're going to have to be quick and careful. I don't want her to get hit. All right, come on, Rain. Can we get the bear a glancing bear butt bite? There we go. We don't want to take any damage from this. There! Ah, oh, yes! We did it! We chased away the grizzly, thank goodness! All right, and quickly, let's feed everybody. Help me out here, Zephyr. I don't know if he's, he's like, in the mood to help feed. I think he's a little distracted by everything that's going down. But we'll go ahead and feed the babies. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. And hopefully we'll be able to do this, you guys. We are playing on the hardest difficulties. So it is very likely, we just have to be realistic, very likely that we're going to lose some babies this time around. But I have to say, I think poor Rain is feeling pretty darn hopeful again. Oh gosh, and there's a coyote already. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think she's feeling pretty darn hopeful, even though I'm going to be like on the edge of my seat while we try to take everybody out and defend our puppies. And we're going to have to see just how many, how many coyote have we taken out now? How many? 84 carcasses fed on. 24 grizzlies chased off, 51 p predators, 36 coyotes. 36 coyotes now. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to let Rain rest here for just a second. And then we'll be back in a couple days with her once again to see how life here at the extremely busy, extremely dangerous den is going. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Who this time? And it's another bear. Oh, no, you don't. One... Rainbow for crying out loud! No! Oh my gosh! That's too much. That's just too much. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!